In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel, according to St. Luke, chapter 7, verses 18 to 23. Then the disciples of John reported to him concerning all these things. And John, calling two of his disciples to him, sent them to Jesus, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? When the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you, saying, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? And that very hour he cured many of infirmities, afflictions, and evil spirits. And to many blind he gave sight. Jesus answered and said to them, Go and tell John the things you have seen and heard, that the blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have the gospel preached to them. Blessed is he who is not offended because of me. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us to be a true disciple of yours. In this Gospel reading today from St. Luke, we read how John the Baptist sent messages to inquire of Jesus with the understanding that John the Baptist is locked in prison and he is not seeing what is happening. He's heard of what's going on. But this person who is doing all these miracles, he's not sure if it was Jesus. So he sent two of his disciples to ask him, Are you the coming one, or do we look for another? And then Jesus replies to this. Go and tell John the things you have seen and heard. The blind see, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear. The dead are raised. The poor have the gospel preached to them. In this last verse, And blessed is he who is not offended because of me. He's not offended by the miracles that he has been doing and preaching of the good news. Blessed is he who is not offended because of the many miracles. When we read this, when we hear what's going on with Jesus and all the miracles that are happening, I pray we are not offended by this evil, by this good works that's happening. I pray that we too may continue to do good works. It's so important for us. John was locked in prison. He didn't know what was going on. That's why he sent his disciples to follow Jesus and to find out for themselves what's happening. And to ask that question of Jesus. Are you the coming one? Are you the one we've been waiting for? The Messiah? Seeing these miracles happen is the answer itself. I urge you all to become true disciples of Jesus Christ, true followers, 
to be mirrors of Jesus Christ. Yes. To see you is to see Jesus Christ. That's a big thing to ask, isn't it? As a true disciple. A follower of Christ. Yes. To be a true follower of Christ. To preach the good news. To preach repentance. To turn back from the world to Jesus. And to be a true disciple of his. Pray to the Holy Spirit for you. To help you. Give God the glory every day for the opportunities you have to preach the good news. Not necessarily with words, but being a mirror of the image of Christ in the way you love people around you, the way you care for them, showing this love. And we too can become messages of Jesus Christ. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. Glory to thee, O God. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen.